As Queen toured stadia around the world, Peter Hintz, Freddie's roadie for 12 years, saw the untrained free spirit perfect his own intuitive performing style. This is one of the microphones that Freddie used, and we used to change them around because they did get damaged. He sang so hard, and there was so much spray. After a day or so, there'd be things would be literally growing out of them. Uh, there's bits of the foam disintegrated, you know. And he always wanted a different clip, and it was because uh, when it was onto the stick or his wand or whatever he used to call it, it that had the right tension, so he could, oh, you know, okay. he could make it a sword, he could make it a machine gun, he could, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. make it a walk, whatever, and. It became an extension of him, that uh, that prop. Yeah. Um, but a whole Freddie Mercury's microphone. Wow. And it feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. We are the champions, my friends. And he started doing more, I suppose, interaction with the audience. Yeah. And songs like We Are the Champions. And if the audience picked up on it, then he would go with it. And then the rest of the band might go with it. Um, certainly in South America. That a lot of that stuff in those big football stadiums started. I mean, he could be very demanding, I and mean, there's no question about that. Yeah. He could play the diva when he wanted to be. He used to throw roses into the audience at the end of the show, and um, someone had to dethorn hundreds of roses so that he could, uh, you know, <laughs> throw them without being injured. He, you know, he pushed everybody, and I think that by doing that, he raised everybody else. 